Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel. 34 times the Booster Club has been called upon and 34 times they've answered. Join the team today and help send the prophets around the world. 12 tribes worldwide. Shalom. I can't get enough for this word. Call me library. All you do is talk. I tell them read. I'll be your Paul bear. As long as my hands clean, I'm a teach. I let the laws tear. You rebuck your doctrine. Can't believe I even fell for it. No top models, no need for worries, cause God got us. See, masculinity need to be shown to for real. And all of you that's cross dressing would be dressed to be killed. Apollo Creed, but I'm hitting like I'm holy filled. You counting sheep, but you the high lean, the type to flee. This for the meat, when the battle won't, they gnash their teeth. I can't believe I even fell for their hypocrisy. Like it or not, it's Kwam Yasharala. Laws attached to the brain, a dubla obligata. We are not the same over here, we walk with giants. Yeah, Ten toes, toes down, down with the clay is mixed with iron. I can't get enough for this word, call me library. All you do is talk, I tell them read, I'll be your ball bearer. As long as my hands clean, I'ma teach, I let the laws tear. You rebuck your doctrine, can't believe I even fell for it. So the people that's driving by in the car, we got a brother up here, he actually asked a question about the Sabbath day and about keeping God's laws. The Sabbath day is not Sunday. It is on Saturday. That's the Lord's Sabbath day that we must be holy. All right? So now, so give me a second. We're going to read this. I need you to listen. So read. Mark, I want you to hear what just happened with your phone. Okay? Mark, tell the four, verse 14. Read Bring it out. That's sower. Sow the word. We are the sowers. We're sowing the word. We're teaching you the Bible, right? Read. And these are they by the wayside. You are the ones by the wayside. So the sower is teaching those that are standing by the wayside. Read right. on. When the word is sown. When you are hearing the Bible, read. But when they have heard, mm -hmm. Satan oh. coming. Satan. Satan does what? Coming immediately. They come to stop you from hearing the Bible. To do what? Read on. And take it away, the word uh -huh. that was uh, that was sown in their hearts. Because that phone call asked you, you gotta leave, right? See what I'm saying? <laughs> who you think trying to make you leave? That's who trying to make you leave. That's what that is. That's a spiritual thing, and our people have no clue that that happens. It's crazy how all of a sudden well, now we dealing well, in the laws. Now it's like I go. I, I know, like man, I ain't nothing but 22. You know what I'm saying? But. I done been through so much, you know what I'm saying, and mm -hmm. I done, I, and I thank God for it, you feel me, because in fact he allowed me to see this early, mm -hmm. at a young age, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. so once I do become older man like y'all, you know what I'm saying, I won't have to go Oh, you say older? Level. How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> so you think it matters about, the, about your age. It's you know? younger than you. Mm. How long have you been here? About two years? Mm. It didn't even take long for him to learn what the Bible says. But you can't go to a school and learn it like this. Right. You thinking, oh, well, I'm going to live wild right now, and then when I get older, then I'm going to start doing what y'all doing. What if you don't live? What? You already been to prison. What makes you think you can't go back? You think you're going to live the second one? Bring it out. You don't know. You probably had to do stuff a lot of us ain't had to do, but some of us done been in prison that you're looking at, you just don't know that because they don't act the same way. Right. Because they doing what God said. You see what I'm saying? So you thinking, oh, well, when I get like older men like y'all, I do that. Well, what if you don't make it? You don't know how long you got on this earth, man. Matter of fact, let's get that. I made haste. Let's get that in Psalms. Psalms 119.59. Because we think that we got all day. You ain't got all day. I ain't got all day. You don't either. Read. Psalms. Chapter 119, verse 59. Y'all hear this script right here coming out the Bible. Read. I thought on my way. So this is what you've been up here doing. I can tell you thinking you got good questions and you getting answers. And you know you're supposed to be doing something better. Right. You know it. Right. This writer said you think you thought on your ways. David did the same thing. I thought on my ways and what did he do? And turned my feet uh -huh. unto thy testimony. And turned his feet to keeping God's laws. Yes, right. But how fast did he do it? Read. 
I made haste. That means he didn't eat immediately. Bro, right. there is no all day. You don't know when you gonna die. Right. Is that it on that? Read on. And delayed not. And delayed not to do what? To keep thy commandments. To keep thy commandments. How you doing, sister? You got a few minutes? I gotta give it to my baby. Yeah, she got my kids. Okay. Okay, understood. Well now, hey, now you know you gotta go teach them. Right. Shoot, you living with the you living with your with the with the mother of your children. You see what I'm saying? That's what God says you must do. You know what you must do? Is that it? Deuteronomy 22, 14? Is that it? Deuteronomy 22, 14? Exodus 22, 14? Let's get that real fast. Let me show you what you must do. This, Yo. right, these are laws. Now these are laws that you can start to do. Exodus chapter 22, verse 16. Read it out. And if a man, and if a man entice a man. You speak game to a woman? Jeez. That's what you did to get it. You speak game to her. Read. That is not betrothed. And she ain't betrothed to nobody. Read on. And lie with her. When you have sex with that woman, what must you do? He, sh he shall surely. Surely. There ain't no option. Surely do what? Endow her to be his wife. That's a commandment of God. That's right. right. We don't walk like gods because that's what we won't do. Bring it out. See what I'm saying? Now, all of us made that mistake. You ain't the only one to do that, man. All of us done made that mistake. But once we heard this, you're like, eh, man, I'm going to I'm going to marry. I'm going to marry. I got to Now I'm married to the same woman that I was sleeping with in the world. Because once I read this and heard this, I couldn't leave her like that. Right, right. Because God says so. Because if I do so, I got a price to pay. Teach. And if you knowing something better, then wouldn't you show your children that example that that woman that you lay with, son, because you have boys. Bring it up. You have boys and daughters. Wouldn't that be teaching your daughter that, look, you don't accept no man that ain't finna marry you. Right. Men, the son, you don't get with no woman unless you plan to marry her. That's the example you set when you marry the mother. That's the example that you set. So they'll copy. And then you won't have this right here. And can I ask y'all a question? Ask y'all a question. Which one of these are Jesus Christ? What does Jesus Christ look like? Is this Jesus or is that Jesus? That. You see that? You see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, you see that? And you say you're a minister, right? Yeah. Okay, these are your children, right? Yeah. You're a minister, and your children just say that this is Jesus Christ. Now, what does the Bible say Jesus look like? But your, your son and daughter. Uh, no, you I, see what I'm saying? Yeah, but let me tell you, I just came up with Okay, good. Well, then we're going to help you out. Okay. We're going to help you out. I ain't here to bash you nothing, sis. We just try to make sure that our people get the bigger picture. Because this right here, brother, brother, what's your name one more time? Chancy. Chancy. This is the bigger picture. You, you got sons and daughters, they age. <laughs> and they will come up here and say the same thing. You got babies, and if you don't teach them nothing else, they're going to say the same thing. That's what they're going to grow up and do. The same stuff that they're doing in the neighborhoods, killing each other. You know why men, black men kill each other? Because they don't see each other as Jesus Christ. Bring it on. We think that the white man is God. God looked like me and you. Right. Right. God they'll looked think, like your son. They'll think twice about going to shoot. They'll think twice they about it because they're like, that dude right there is one of Christ. That's, that is God's son. Right. And I'm going to go and kill him. God said we cannot hate each other. That's a commandment. Leviticus 19. Bring it on. 17. Read this. Let's see now. Leviticus chapter 19. Verse 7. And this is what you're teaching them when you marry they mother. Because for a man to sleep with a woman and then leave her and not marry her, he hates her. Bring it out. He right. hates her. Right. And for her to sleep with him and she leave him, she hates him. Right. She hates him. But God says not to do what? Read that. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. You can't hate him. For Bring you to out. hate him means you do something against God and them. Right. For a man and woman to sleep together and not get married, they hate each other. Right. They hate each other, but if you marry that woman, what are you teaching your kids how to love their own people? Because they can't marry no so-called white person. They can, Bring it out. The so they can only marry the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's it. That's right. Right. Interracial marriage is against God. Right. Right. We think we can marry anybody we want, but we got the best looking people on the planet, and we want to marry everybody else. Right. Right. <laughs> We're destroyed as heck, man. 
How in the world is a black man gonna say he for black people but won't marry the black woman? Bring it up. I was a black woman for black people, but she won't marry the black man. Bring but it up. If you do that and you and you send up and marry the other people, that's who your real love is toward. That that's right. that you marry. Right. Or you would have been with yours. Right. Read on and read on. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. And that's what the Bible says, minister, as a minister. Because when you say you're a minister, we have to correct each other. That's what God said. Rebuke your neighbor. Correct them. That's what we do. But have we said anything disrespectful to you since you've been up here? No. Correction ain't disrespectful. It's actually love. This is real love. Because ain't no man told you, look, you must marry that woman so that your kids will see it so that they don't grow up making the same mistakes you made and I made. Right. Then they ain't in jail. Then they don't go because you're going to be there every step of the way. And this certain stuff you're going to see them doing that you used to do. And you're going to put a shutdown to it because you're going to be like, you ain't copying what I did. Right. right. But what if you ain't there? Who's there to stop them now? Nobody. Bring it out. Then they're going to be calling you from the cell. Now you sitting there down. I, I didn't teach my kids. And now your feelings hurt. Now you're not proud. Now you upset. Now the other nations are happy because that man that stands up to do what we doing, they are afraid. Bring it up. Afraid and not suffer sin upon you. And him. we can't allow you to sin. Suffer means allow. We cannot allow you to sin without telling you. The fact you're pulling up your pants, that's a commandment. It's, it, it is dishonorable for men to walk around with their pants below their behind. Second, second seven. So now, y'all understand that? Yeah. That, that we must correct our people, that we cannot hate our people. Hold on. I want you to finish that because I want the neighbor piece of it. I want the neighbor piece of it. Then we're going to go to second seven is 10 and 4. All right? So let's get that real fast. Let's finish it up. Verse 18. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not avenge, nor bear, nor bear any grudge against thy children. People that are in games today. Sister, sister right here. What's your name? Nicole. Nicole, sister Nicole. Yeah. People that are in the games today, don't they hold grudges against each other? No. That's why they go shoot back and forth with each other. No. Ain't they holding the grudge to avenge yeah. people? Read that part again. Thou shalt what? Thou shalt not. Not. Avenge, okay. mm. nor bear any grudge against thy children of thy people. Uh, children of who? Thy people. Of your people. We reading about your neighbor. Your neighbor is your people. Right. But ain't black on black crime all over the place? Bring it up. That's because people are avenging each other and bearing grudges against each other. Right. So then they go and kill each other. Versus, they ain't supposed to do that. That's why we in slavery today. That's why we here. That's why we in the worst parts of the neighborhood. Any city you go, in the worst part of the neighborhood, that's where we at. Bring it out. Any country you go, the worst part of the country, even, that's even where we like, at. Even like our ancestors, they had supposed to told us like about our, not our birth certificate, but our certificate of birth, which is we go back to the county, you know what I'm saying? And get our certificate of birth. Mm -hmm. That holds all our property because when we when we was born, they basically gave us away. How the white man had it set up mm -hmm. is when we was born, our footprint that's on our that white sheet of paper with yeah. our name, like with our signature. name and all, it's like your signature. That how they, they with your parents not knowing that how they signature your child away. You know now. what I'm saying to the county. Now, you feel me? now. Like it's, that, that, that's right. But according deep. to God, that is a curse that we yeah, got to go to them. Mind you, a child is born. Your child was born. Was your child born before you signed that paper to anybody on the planet? No. No. So you, no, 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 no. Was your child considered born before you had that, child, that birth certificate in the hospital? No. They could have been stunned on you holding them. Nobody knows they exist. No paperwork on them, they get no benefits, no nothing. Not right. Right. Nothing. Because hmm. God said it's a curse. You got to go to the white man to get it in the first place. That's right. Yeah. So, yes, that's deep. But the only way to get out of it is to start doing what we read. That's Have right. Hatred towards your brother. Oh, yeah. You got to love your neighbor. Okay. Don't avenge or go out and burn no grudge to go and kill your brother. Read on. But thou shalt love. But thou shalt love. Because the opposite of love is hate, right? Hate, right. So, that's what, we, that's what we showing in our neighborhood. Hate toward each other. Read on. But thou shalt love thy neighbor uh -huh. as thyself. But you gotta love your neighbor as yourself. That's the commandment. That's how you love your neighbor as yourself. Don't burn no grudge with him. Right. Don't hold no grudge with him. Don't want to get revenge on him. Don't go out here and sleep it's with a woman and don't marry him. It's the same thing you want to receive, but at right. the same time, you got to be willing to receive and do what God said. Because right. some people don't mind. Look, sisters don't mind sleeping with another man and then going man to man to man. Right. Some people don't mind that. 
but you're killing yourself and everybody you're sleeping with. Right. Right. Some men don't mind sleeping with multiple women. They don't care. So even though that's what they want, even though they don't mind it, they're showing hatred toward everybody they do that with. That's right. That ain't according to God. That's right. You see what I'm saying? So it ain't just, oh, you got to treat people how you want to be treated. No, you got to treat people how God said treat them. Right. That's right. Everybody agree? Is this Jesus? Yeah. Who is that man over there? Y'all say, y'all say that. Who, come here, come here. Who the oldest between y'all two? Me. You? All right. You, I like talking to the man of the house. Here we go. You said that is who? The devil. Say it loud. The devil. You see that problem? You see that? Now, which one of these pictures do you look like more? Do you look like him or do you look like him? See? But you just said he's the devil and he looked like you. You see that? Y'all see yeah. the problem? You see the problem? That's Christianity. Yeah, that, that's right. that is Christianity. So you being a minister, right? Or, or, or just now becoming a minister. Should men, should women, should women be over churches and stuff like that? According to God. So now, if you're a minister, is that what you're planning on doing? Getting your own church? No. No? So so what's a minister to you? Because women, women, women are ministers, but they are teachers of a certain kind, and they got a certain thing that they must teach. Read it out. Read that. First Timothy chapter two and verse nine. Read it out. And like men are also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Stop. How are women supposed to dress today? In what kind of apparel? Modest. <laughs> so now a woman that is showing her curves is she modest? No. No. So I see you have on pants and your daughter's got on pants. Yeah. Is that modest? No. No, it's not. It's not. Now, mind you, according to Leviticus, like we read, to show love to you, it says correct your neighbor, right? Rebuke your neighbor. It means correction. You're our neighbor. you our sister. Right. Bring it on. It's our job that we do what God said. If we don't do it, are we really God's people then? If we don't do it, are we really the ministers that God sent? Right. No, we not. But that's why we do it, because we understand who we are. We right. know what importance we have on this earth. Right. And our importance is to raise our people back up so that they come back to God the right way. That's right. Because the flyers that you get, you take it to your to your husband. What if your husband does not agree with you? Now what? See, that's a tough question. That's a tough question. Because your husband allowed you to wear pants, allowed your daughters to wear pants. Are women supposed to wear pants at all? Deuteronomy 22, 5. Hold that skirt. Oh, no. Yes. Possibly exactly. But your husband allowed y'all to put on pants and did not say anything to you. Yeah. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. That's you know. Modest the peril is. Read them. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. It's written in the Bible. What belongs to men? Pants. <laughs> God said the woman shall not put them on. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. You got men today walking around in dresses and skirts today, and God said no. Martin Lawrence want to dress up like Shanae. We think it's funny, and he in sin. Bring it out. We want to watch, uh, 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 what is it, Tyler, Tyler Perry Medea. dressed up like Medea in a dress, and we think it's funny, but he in sin. Bring it out. That's what God said. We ain't write the book. That's we study right. it and teach it the way it is, regardless of how people feel, because they may not like it. Read on. For all that do Everybody so. Everybody that dressed that way, so a woman that dresses out of order, or a man that dresses out of order, what God said. Our abomination unto the Lord thy God. God is in hatred of that. That's right. And That's he hates right. you. Right. Because people say God hates the sin and not the sinner. Is that true? Is that true? No. Mm, God hates both the sin and that person that's doing it. Oh, where you at? Psalms 5 and 5. You ain't got going too far. Psalms 5 and 5. And then we're going to go back to Timothy because we got to get through that. Psalms chapter 5 and verse 5. Bring it out. Listen up, sister. Listen up, Nicole. The foolish oh. shall not stand in thy sight. Because, hey, ain't no foolish person going to stand in front of God. There's judgment coming for that dude. Oh, that See. one. Read. Thou hatest. God hate. Read. All workers. All workers. The people. A worker is a person. God said he hates the worker, the person that does what? Of iniquity. Of sin. Right. He hates the person and the sin. Bring it out. It's written in the Bible and nobody teaches that. Everybody in Christianity says God hates the sin and not the sinner. God just said the opposite. So what in the world are y'all learning in Sunday? Because God said go on the Sabbath day, which is on Saturday. No. What day your church opens up? We go on Sunday. 
See? See? Everybody's learning the same Christianity nonsense. But that's, oh, that's, 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 that's a big, that's that a big crazy. thing why I stopped going to church. You feel me? Because, because it was false. It, yeah, it's false. It like, and I felt, and see, like they say, God coming and he in your heart. You feel me? So, in your heart, where's your heart at according to God? Because your heart, that, that yes. just pumps blood. That don't do nothing. How right. do, what, what? Do you, where do, where do you do all the thinking and everything you do? <laughs> That's your heart in the Bible. Ooh, right. You want to prove it? Bring it out. Mark 7, 21. Bring it out. Mark 7, 21. Because you went like this, though. My heart. No, I'm just saying, like, you know what I mean? hey, hey, that's because that's what it's in church. I'm just saying, like, basically, church is in your Right, there you go. So I don't have to step into church to serve mm. that man. You feel me? Uh, you don't have to step into a church, but you must be with a certain people. Right. Yes, you are. Read that. Mark 7. Mark. Chapter 7, verse 21. Listen up, Bring it Nicole. Up. Listen up, Nicole. Here's, here, here's the heart. Read. For from within, out of the heart of men. Out of the heart of men and women. Read them. Proceed evil thoughts. So the heart is up here where your thoughts come from. Right. So now, let's go back to Timothy. Then we're going to hit up Revelation. Let's go to Revelation real fast, and then we'll go to Timothy. We got to finish all these thoughts. All right, so let's now, now, now. Y'all young men and young women, come back. Come back. Now, y'all said that this right here is God or Jesus, and that's the devil. Y'all are wrong, okay? Cause you look more like him, don't you? Mm -hmm. oh, right. That's Jesus Which one? That. that one over there is. Now, now you with us. You with us now, bro. Right. That's right. You on our team now. Yeah, you on the right team. And right. we gonna prove it at the Bible, cause right. cause a lot of pastors will say no one ever seen Jesus. Yes. They'll say no one ever, no one ever seen him, but they hung him on the cross. So somebody saw a person to put him up there, right? <laughs> Let's read that thing. Revelation 1 and 1, then we're going to jump to 14. Get out. Revelation. Listen Ch up, y'all. Listen up. Chapter 1 and verse 1. Uh -huh. you know, the revelation of Jesus Christ. The revealing of Jesus Christ. That's what that means. That's what that's going into. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The root word is revealed. So we're going to reveal Jesus Christ. 14 now. Verse 14. Listen up. I want y'all to tell me who this match. What's your name, man? What's your name? Andre. Andre. You playing these games. Andre, you the oldest, right? No, I well, you the oldest, but you the oldest boy, right? So they example is going to be after you. You know that, Andre? So listen to this right here. Read. His head and his hair were white like wool. Which one of these pictures got white woolly hair? <laughs> now, we're reading about Jesus now. Teach! So is this Jesus already? Is this Jesus or is that Jesus now? <laughs> Read. As white as snow. And his hair was woolly. What people got woolly hair? Nicole? Uh huh? Old people. people? No, 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 no. This is woolly. This is woolly. Look, look at your sons and daughters' hair. That's woolly. You covering your wool up. You got her like Christ and God, and you're covering it up. But think of that. Think of that. You're teaching your children not to love their own self. Because you are covering up what God gave you, which is beautiful. Because God and Christ got the same hair you naturally have. That's right. And your kids naturally have. But you're covering yours. Stay over here, Andre. Andre, come on, man. Stop playing. Your mama telling you to stop. So stop. You got it? So now, that's what we got to do. Read on. His head and his hair were white like wool. Uh -huh. That's white as snow. Read. And his eyes uh -huh. were as a flame of fire. Which one has red eyes? <laughs> We're reading about Christ, and they walked up, and they are pastor's children, and they said that God was white. Three. Christ is white. And they said that the people that look like them, an image that look like them, they said is the devil. They let you know they hate them. They're being taught to hate themselves. Yeah. No. They're being taught. How old are you, Andre? Seven. How old are you? Nine. Nine. Nine and seven is the two oldest. And they already done been taught how to hate themselves. So in order for you to help them, you must look like them. Right. They got their natural hair showing. Yeah. Mm. Show you got there and right. You got there and right. Read. That's right. You and God. his feet. And God's feet. I didn't cuss. Yes, no, did. God darn. It's not a cuss word. So. <laughs> Read. And his feet. And God's Christ's feet. His feet. I can see y'all's feet. Read on. Like unto fine brass. Now, now, what color is brass? What color is brass? Huh? No, not grass. Brass. Brown. Brown, like a penny. What color is a penny? Brown. 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 Say, Christ's feet was brown. If his feet was brown, what was his face color then? Brown. Because I'm looking at y'all feet. Y'all feet match y'all face. What? Brown. <laughs> so it said that his feet is brown. Read on. How brown was he though? As if they burned. And they burned. Now, if you burn the brown in the furnace, 
Christ was a dark black man. That's, That's right. right. <laughs> but your kids say that that was the devil. But the Bible said that a man that looks like them was the one that came to save them, not somebody that looks like some a whole other nation. This is the devil right here. That is the devil. Because the devil tricks your children into thinking that that's the devil and that's who they are. Go. Read on. Now let's see if Christ. Now you see how we. Now you see we're loud out here talking, right? Let's see if Christ was talking. And his voice. As the sound of many waters. Is water's quiet? A waterfall, is it quiet? No. No, it's very loud. You can barely hear yourself talk. Christ was a loud man. Right. He was bold when it came to God. But our women and men are taught not to be that way, and therefore we teach our children to go against their own God and themselves. Right. And to love everybody else. When God only loves you and your children. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.